over here playing my goals for this week like i told you guys in my videos before that i wanted to make 500 dollars this week like that was my fucking goal so i'm gonna be here just making my money and i was planning on you know saving my money starting my business and all that and just cater my my needs for my youtube channel and whatever i'm doing you know with my life so my dad says he gets a call from Geico talking about like asking him questions and stuff and I'm, I'm guessing they're asking questions pertaining to my vehicle to my car about um maybe like where the car is going what's it doing like you know all that all this I don't know exactly what they asked him but basically with Geico and their policy they do not have commercial um auto insurance so basically insurance for business use business pur purposes and all that they don't have they don't cover that so i have to look for an insurance that i can afford in my budget that i can afford to pay every month you know what i'm saying i never paid for insurance a day of my life so i am that responsible enough for me to know that okay you're not about to be out here just blowing the money you know what i'm saying you're not about to be out here just blowing the money and not saving i'm going to be saving and investing my money whether i'm investing towards my youtube channel whether i'm investing to myself whether i'm investing um towards my business it's like that's what the money i'm making from doordash and youtube is going towards so now that I have my insurance, my car insurance on my plate, I mean, whatever, I gotta deal with it, right? Cause and for all this to happen really blew my fucking mind. It really blew my mind because I was like, yes, I finally have a good source of income where I could really make my money, I can really save and invest and do what I gotta fucking do, my nigga. Yeah, so my insurance, Geico, does not accept delivery drivers food delivery drivers specifically you know what i'm saying they don't insure those people that are independent contractors doing food deliveries i'd rather pay that 500 dollars a month than work than work at target or her walmart or or shop right dead ass so that's exactly what i'm going to be doing um but the thing is i am a few dollars i am a few you know dollars off like i'm at 400 something dollars right now and i do want to have a little bit of money after i don't spend all my money on my insurance right so whenever i do decide to switch over to my insurance which will be in the next couple of days either tomorrow either tomorrow or friday this weekend i'm going to switch over to an insurance that accept you know door dashers and all that once i find the right one for me i'm definitely going to make that move little, i need to make like a hundred dollars or a little over a hundred dollars just so that i can pay the first payment for my insurance and once that's covered you know i have the whole entire month to you know i have the whole entire month to make that money and put it aside I could easily make that five hundred dollars in one week the more i do doordash the more comfortable i get with doordash the more deliveries I make, I'll make that $500 easily in one week, right? So, my plan is to, whenever I have the money, I'm just going to pay that shit off. Just pay it off, pay it off, pay it off. Because it's every single month, for 12 months, I'm going to have to pay $500. If I can find insurance that offer lower than that, then bet. Okay, so I currently don't have any dashes right now. And I'm scheduled from, I'm scheduled from 11 to 2, like I said before. And at first, it said dash now. But then I got out of the app. Nothing popped up yet, so I'm about to go to a hotspot area that I know pick up orders like Panera Bread. I'm eight minutes into my into my shift, and I haven't picked up an order yet. Sorry if I look a little dark, y'all. Like I can't get the best lighting for y'all because this is where I have to place my camera. Um, every store that I go to, I never have to use my card, bro. Except for Wendy's. If you go to Wendy's, you're going to have to place the order yourself. You're going to have to read out the order and all that. Just in case I need it. Because I never, I rarely need it. Every place that I go to, it says no need to pay. And you might get that too. You know what I'm saying? <gasps> A $3 order? Oh no. I don't want to do no $3 order, y'all. It's only one mile away. Should I grab it? Should I grab it, y'all? All right, I'll just do it. It's one mile away. And it's the McDonald's down here, actually. 
So I accepted that order for three twenty-five, I believe. I know that is below what I actually want to to make. I actually wanted like five dollars and up per order, but because this is my first order of the day at three twenty-five at eleven twelve, this is my first order for three for three dollars and twenty-five cents, and it's only one mile away the destination. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why the GPS keeps saying that this place is nine minutes away, eleven minutes away, but it's right here. Hi, I just want to know if you have an order for um, DoorDash. I have the pickup ID. I want to make sure this is the right McDonald's first before I come inside. Can I tell you the number? When you give me the DoorDash, you give everything, your address, address, yeah? Okay, so the pickup ID number is 196. I don't have any, I don't have any DoorDash here. For Maya? Okay. Alright. Anyways, I'm gonna follow this GPS instead because it might be at a different McDonald's. Y'all, I'm gonna cancel that order because I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it. It's not worth it for three dollars. Now this one, Panera Bread. So I have an order for six dollars at Panera Bread down the road, two minutes away, and it's for Christopher. So yeah, boom! Fuck the McDonald's one. Like what the fuck? For three dollars. I'm like, I'm not driving ten minutes for three dollars. Like, I thought one point five miles is like five minutes. I can definitely, you know, keep accepting orders from there because the wait isn't too, too long. It's just right. So I'm going to go up there anyways. I'm not going to wait in my car because I want to make it, you want to make it known that you're here and that you are here to pick up your order. If you wait in your car, they don't know you're here. So I'm continue to take this sweet time and all that. But nope, not me. I am going to, I'm about to go right up in there. I'm going to ask for my order. Let me show you guys Panera real quick. There you go, Panera Bread. I have a DoorDash order for Christopher. He's just finishing up the drinks. Alright. Oh. Okay, so I have her stuff from Panera Bread. This bag is way too big to be in the hot bag. And I think this says it's a residential place. I'm about to be on my way there. Uh, I'm six minutes away, so a mile is probably like five minutes. you guys so i just dropped off my meal oh i see a burger king for six miles though i don't know if i'm gonna drive six miles for 850 six miles y'all six miles is far i don't know 850 though should i do it y'all let's do it <laughs> let's do it fuck it it's four items at burger king four items at burger king for 850 let's just do it because i know this place we're four minutes away from burger king I'm gonna do it, y'all, because I need that money. I need that money. I already know. Okay, so I just came in with my DoorDash order from Burger King and 
the destination is at freaking Target, y'all. The Target where my mall is. The whole mall is closed, but Target is open. So I'm about to head over there. And they said, they specifically said for me to go inside and ask for the name, the customer, the customer's name. I'm about to head over to Target and this is my second order at 11.50. I basically did two orders in an hour. So my goal is to at least after a month or, or a couple weeks of actually doing this consistently, I want to start to get three orders. I want to start getting three orders per hour. You know what I'm saying? Why is there so many cars at Target, bro? Like, everybody just forgot about the coronavirus type shit. But anyways, y'all, I'm about to go ahead and drop off my order, and I'll be right back. Bro, I'm so dead. I totally butchered his fucking name. Like, he was like, bro, I'm like, Kamik, Kamik, and I think he said Kimik. I don't know, Kimik. I'm so dead. But anyways, that delivery was a success. Ow! That delivery was a success, and now I'm about to look for another order. Okay, so I have this Italian restaurant that I've never been to, Amici, Amici Italian restaurant. Never been here, but I'm going to accept this order. It says you'll need your red card to pay this order. So they ordered a Coca-Cola, cheese, and a tomato something. I forgot what it's called, but it's right here. This is what they ordered. I'm about to go pick it up right now. It should be ready because only th there's only two items that they're eating and a Coke. But anyways, once I have the food, I'll be right back. So I just got a delivery. It's called China Taste Restaurant and it's 3.3 miles away and it's going for $6. So I took that, I snatched that and I'm about to be on my way to the restaurant or whatever. Y'all, is that the same place that I was just at? This is the Amasi, Amasi restaurant place that I was just at and the China, the China Taste Restaurant is down here. That's so dope. <laughs> I doubt the food is already ready, but I'm still gonna go over there to make my presence known. I have a DoorDash order for Jamie. Yeah. Okay, sweet. So I just got my food or whatever. Um, she's seven minutes away, you guys. So I'm about to head over to her place. All right, you guys, so I just made it. I honestly thought it was going to be a house, but this is not a house. This is actually a building that I'm about to show you guys right here. Now, tell me how there's a whole freaking cop car right here. Like when I park, I see a cold cop car like, oh my gosh. But anyways, I'm about to call the customer and tell them that I'm here and then I'm going to drop my food off and go on to my next order. Alright you guys, so I'm guessing that I put at the right door. I saw 250, so I put it there. I don't know if that was the right place. I called her twice. I called her twice. She didn't answer. But anyways, I'm about to go to another hot spot and it's telling me to go near Five Guys. I know that restaurant always picked up orders. And when I first came here, oh, there's a trampoline park right here. Bro, when I walked in there, it freaking stank and I was like, mm, mm. But anyways, I'm about to go near Five Guys. I actually went there earlier, if you guys remember. I went to Five Guys earlier, and I couldn't pick up an order, so I just left. But anyways, I'm about to go back over there and see if I can pick up an order. And yeah! I just saw the cop walk by, but anyways, I just got an order at Cheesecake Factory. They're 3.2 miles away. They're 3.2 miles away, and I told you guys earlier that I know that Cheesecake Factory could be a little slow, so I don't know if I, I already took the order anyways, but hopefully by the time I get there, the order is, a little, is almost ready. Cheesecake Factory is five minutes away, and I'm about to head over there right now. And yeah, anyways, I'll see y'all once I get there. And hopefully it ain't a long wait, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All 
All right, you guys, so the order's already ready. I called them just now and they said the order's ready. So I'm about to grab her order. She just wanted a salad and a cheesecake. So that was, you know, pretty quick. Um, I'm about to go ahead and pick up the order and yeah. Yes. That's one too. Oh, wow, I left my whole key in here. But anyways, y'all, I just grabbed my order. And I'm about to head over to my destination. It says to leave it at their door and show dorm room. I don't know what that means, but I mean, once I get there, I'm just going to take a picture of the food or call them. Take a picture of the food and call them and let them know that I left it over there. And hopefully everything is okay. And yeah. All right, you guys, so I just finished my last order. It is currently 1.18 p.m. and I have like 45 minutes, 40, 41 minutes left over until I'm done with my little short dash. I already know my situation and I don't want to dash for too long for them to start getting suspicious and all that. So I'm gonna try to do at least one or two more orders. And yeah, so I'm about to go back to my hotspots and see if I pick up another order. All right, you guys, so I just got an order for Wendy's for $7 and what a coincidence. Wendy's was right near me, so I'm about to head right on in and place my order. Like I said before, with Wendy's, you do have to pay with your red card, so that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. So I'm about to head right on in. I never, ever, ever use the drive-thru simply because the line is always long at the drive-thru. So I always go inside when I have a Wendy's order. And yeah, I'm about to head right on in and place my order and all that. All right, you guys, they want a Dr. Pepper. So I'm about to get them a Dr. Pepper. Alright you guys, so I just picked up the order. He is 12 minutes away. He is 12 minutes away, so I'm about to head over to his house and drop off the order. Contactless delivery, so he just wants it at his door, so this is pretty easy. And hopefully, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to crush in one more delivery. Maybe if I hurry up, I will, but anyways, it's about to be two o'clock. It's 1.37, so I'm gonna see either if I'm gonna do one more delivery, if I have another one that's short, I'll pick it up. And if it's not, then I'll just not do it. Anyways, I'll be right back once I drop off my order. In 900 feet, the destination is on your right. All right, you guys, so I just arrived at the destination and I'm about to drop off my food. I think one of the people that live here just pulled up in the driveway. But anyways, I'm about to drop off my food. I just did my DoorDash session. I'm about to pull up my information right now or whatever to see how much a girl made in the time that I DoorDash. So today is June 15th. My active time was two hours and 14 minutes. So I was active for two hours and 14 minutes. And my dash time was two hours and 49 minutes. 
I completed six deliveries, so I probably did like two deliveries per hour. I did Wendy's, Cheesecake Factory, the China Taste Restaurant, the Amacy Italian Restaurant, and, and Pizzeria. And I did Burger King, and I did Panera Bread. And yeah, so that was everything. I forgot that I went to Panera Bread, bro. I literally forgot. But that was everything, and yeah i dashed from 11 12 to 201 so that's a little bit under my three hours but anyways if you guys like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel make sure you guys turn your post notifications so you find every single time your girl upload her videos if you guys want more doordash videos let me know in the comment section down below i would love to film more videos for you guys the ups the downs that's what today was a good day you know what i'm saying today was a good day i've had bad days doing doordash but today was a good day my goal right now is just to to get the money together that I need to pay for my insurance that I'm about to switch over to. So I, all I need is the money for that. So I'm able to switch over to Liberty Mutual or whichever insurance that, you know, fits my budget and knows, you know, exactly what I'm doing with DoorDash and all that. So I have no confusion, no letters coming in the mail, no phone calls about what are you doing, where you at, blah, blah. But anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.